Welcome to Live, Life Inspired Views for Every Day. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul. My favorite TV character growing up was Captain Kangaroo. His neighbor was Mr. Green Jeans. For those in my era, he was similar to Mr. Rogers. What Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Rogers had in common was their conversation with us, the children on the other side of the screen. We were part of their community. We were in their neighborhood. We were familiar with the environment, and it made us feel we belonged. Remember Mr. Rogers' song? Who are the people in your neighborhood? They're the people that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet each day. Neighborhoods should be like that. They are a specific area that includes our most intimate thing, our home, where we go to be completely who we are without any pretenses, the place where we belong. Of course, not all neighborhoods are like that. Not all homes are like that either. They don't have a safe quality sometimes. It would be wonderful if they did, but sadly, that is not always the case. A week ago, we invited five of the families in our new neighborhood in for strawberry shortcake. Two were from both sides of our home and three were from across the street. Our new neighborhood is wonderfully diverse and our little party had a mix of Vietnamese, Eritrean, and Caucasian. It was interesting to learn that most of the neighbors gathered in our home that day had really not ever gotten to know each other, though they had been living here for several years or more. This experience made me realize anew the importance of knowing who is in your world. So reflect with me a bit. Do you remember the neighbors during your childhood? Names, how you felt about them, or stories that immediately came to mind? How about your college dorm? Remember the neighbors there? And how about in your neighbor, your adulthood now? Have you known your neighbors in each of your dwellings? People don't often reach out anymore because they are waiting for the other to do so. Or maybe it's just because it has become a trend and habit in our society today. It can be a bit intimidating, but most often it is so rewarding when you reach out to get to know someone close to your personal world or even not in your personal world. I admit as an extrovert, it's my character to be the first to reach out. But no matter if you are an extrovert or an introvert, needs are the same. We need to belong. And a neighborhood is a wonderful place to get that fulfillment. In the country or in the city, neighbors are needed. In the charming book, Wisdom from the Hidden Life of Trees, the author Peter Wollenben tells us that trees' well-being depends on their community in order to survive. Maybe we're not so different. There is a story I have loved and told for years about a queen who discovered a ladybug in her garden. She thought it looked so royal, and its coat was red and had dots of black. She had to be gone for the day and didn't want her ladybug to be lonely, so she called upon her servant James to search the kingdom for a playmate for the lovely ladybug. She told him, bring back a friend who is just like her so she will have someone to play with. (laughs) He took off on his horse and returned with an ant. The queen was mortified and admonished him, saying, no, no, I told you to bring back a friend just like her. James took off again, and after bringing back a grasshopper, he received the same scolding. The third time he brought back a bumblebee, and a third time the queen was outraged. So she took him by the ear to see what the ladybug looked like so he could find someone just like her. To her surprise, she found the lovely ladybug sitting under a flower blossom with three friends having tea. One friend was the ant the other the grasshopper, and the third the bumblebee. This story is an important reminder that just as we cannot choose who is born into our family, we cannot choose who becomes our neighbor. But what we can choose is to extend our world by knowing who are the people in our neighborhood, who then can become known by us and we by them. 
deepening our needed sense of belonging to something bigger than our world of chosen friendships and acquaintances. Another old folktale tells of a man named Isaac, who dreamed a voice told him to go to the royal palace in the city to find a treasure buried under the bridge. When he got there, he met a guard who asked why he was wandering around the bridge. The man told him of his dream. The guard laughed and said, If I believed a dream that I once had, I would go and look for a treasure under the stove of a man named Isaac. Hmm. Isaac then went home and found the treasure buried beneath his stove. Hmm. Our treasures may live right next door, if only we seek to find them. This week, in your bathroom mirror, write, I will learn to know my neighbors. Join me next Monday for Live, Life-Inspired Views for Every Day. I'm Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul.